hello everyone welcome back to my channel today in this video we will talk about a resume like you know how to make a perfect resume let's be honest writing or creating a resume is the worst and creating a perfect resume one of the hardest thing in my opinion because you know especially for the beginner level you know when we pass out the college or any we uh, complete our degree or diploma in particular field or in beginner level that time it's become very difficult how to create a perfect resume that it can recognize by the recruiter or you can say our employer right but when you become a professional or experience in particular field that time it doesn't matter but for beginner level it's sometime it's become very difficult okay every day we apply for many job but we not even get a single result right why it's happened you know if you go to the google and write it how much time does a recruiter spend on a single resume as per the research it says on average recruiter spend six to eight seconds to looking your cv if your cv is you know in one page and you write your information in perfectly that means he is gonna uh, look at your cv otherwise no matter how skilled you are and uh, how many degree you have done and uh, whatever you will not get selected right so for example i have created one resume so as you can see here i have given perfect like you know name what is what like uh, i'm a business analyst my photos my contact details what is the skill set i required what is the education i have done what are the project i work on like how many year of experience i have if i have any experience i will include otherwise i will not include and the what kind of certification we have okay and these all are uh, you know you can see the number and the link it's all are clickable for example if somebody will click on this link it will redirect us to the particular link see as you can see here it take us to my youtube channel i have given that link okay let's come back to our topic so in this video we will talk about how to build a resume for the data analyst role or a data scientist or business analyst it can be anything okay and we will see how to mention our project our uh, experience skill and everything so without any further delay let's get started so first thing first so there are many website from where you can uh, create your resume but i personally prefer the canva canva why because i can uh, create my resume as per my choice okay I can edit even it is free to use so for example let me take my same resume example which I have created this one right let me delete this first okay okay so I will because this is already built built a resume so I will only explain you how to do this okay so for example we'll go from the starting point let me reduce this okay so what you have to do if you want to create a resume let me go back here you have to write you know uh, data analyst resume analyst resume template template it will give you the automatically see you can pick any template as per your choice don't pick this pro one because you have to pay for this you can choose any resume as according to your choice and you can use that all right but uh, I, we are not teaching here the canva so we will just go back to our topic simply all right so i just show you how you can get the templates all right in the starting what i did i write my name uh, you can write your name here like for example i write here the john smith for and uh, if your position is a data analyst business analyst whatever you have you can write here or if you want to give some about about yourself you can write in like you know uh if you are already experienced i am a data you can write like you know i am a data analyst with more than five year experience whatever you want to write you can do that all right and here okay and here photos can you uh, you can use your photo this is the random photo i took it from the google if you don't want you can uh, leave it this is very important in contact details you will write your uh, first there should be a number see how you will do you will double, double click on this number 
what you have to do whenever you are writing any text in the canva you know just what you have to do double click on it see you'll see one link over here why i'm saying link always use link if you write your number like you know for example um, i will write my country code and uh, then number whatever number you have like for whatever number for example this one i'll keep it and keep it done then what will happen if somebody will click on this link it will directly call okay he, he don't have to type your number and all these things okay then your email id it's also same double click here edit link you can write in the text you can write email id okay or here you can write your email like this you can for example this is just a random email this is not real email so okay whatever email you have you can write like this okay done then you will use done see if somebody will click on this email it will redirect him to the email id okay then your address don't write your full address just basic like you know if you for example if you are in mumbai delhi okay so you can write delhi or your area name and your pin code that will be fine okay then this is a uh, my uh, link you have to use your portfolio link if you using any linkedin if you are using a, a github or you are using any youtube or you are you, you have created any particular website you have to write give the link okay it make sure it should be clickable okay like you know see if i will press control and click in this link it will redirect us to my youtube channel and make sure to mention your linkedin id as well you have to do double click on it see from here in the top you can write my linkedin profile or you can directly give your linkedin uh, what you call uh, url okay in the second you have to paste your url of linkedin just click ok see now if somebody will click on this it will redirect him to the linkedin profile directly then come to the skill set so whatever you know like for example if you are good in uh, sql as a data analyst you have to be good in sql all right so if you don't know python if you don't know html that is fine but you should know the sql okay you write your program language in the concepts we write what we know like business analytics data analytics statics like you know data pre-processing um, pre jupyter notebook where you will write your python code data visualization like you know a dashboard creation and all in the tableau or power bi or whatever tool you know machine learning if you have from the data science you will write the machine learning and all this thing in the tools whatever tools you know for example i know r i know tableau i know power bi i know microsoft excel word powerpoint okay i don't i don't use microsoft word but i mentioned like that okay just for the keyword okay then in the last we will write our education okay main part comes here okay in the main part what we have to do we have to mention about the project why i mention these two projects i have worked on many projects but i mention only two projects why because i have already shown my youtube channel if you go to my youtube channel in the playlist i have created one data analyst portfolio project where i have worked on the two projects like you know all is stored at bank uh, bank loan analysis project where i have show how to use sql tableau and power bi all these tools all right okay let's come back to our topic here what i did i write my project name what does the project what is the key finding of project i don't have to mention everything there is a five kpis and these thing and those thing don't mention such kind of thing make it clean and simple that if somebody uh, read it they will understand what he did in the project then i mention what tools i use to uh, work on this project and this is my project link see power bi dashboard link i give just power bi dashboard i i didn't give like you know uh, sql link see this is also clickable can you see here i have given my uh, youtube channel link same thing i did with the bank loan analysis project also simple little bit about the project what tools i use and one link if you have link in github linkedin or in your website or any google drive if you don't have website if you don't have github if you don't have youtube if you don't have linkedin no problem upload your project file in google drive give the google drive link that is also fine experience i purposely keep it blank because this whole purpose of creating this resume for the beginner level 
so make sure i think in my opinion you must have done some internship from your uh, college or uh, institute wherever you have done your course so you can mention about your uh, like from this date to that date i have done my internship from this company and uh, uh, that little bit about your work like what you did like as a data analyst my role in the project to create a like you know visualization or chart or whatever like writing sql queries and you can mention it in the last we will mention about the certification whatever certification you have after the certification hit enter and mention your uh, like give the link of your google drive wherever you have saved your uh, certificate or if you have uh, posted in linkedin give that link of that post you know always give the link always try to give a link okay so this is the basic thing uh, we should do while creating a resume i hope you like the video and uh, please don't forget to check out the, my previous video i'm talking about these videos i specific recommend this video please watch these two video it will really help you you know how to build a portfolio website and how to get a data analyst job in 2024 okay and if you want to practice SQLs, watch this two video. I have worked on a lot of assignments. It will help you. All right. And uh, if you have any other queries or you want me to make a video on this particular things, please do let me know in the comment. I will definitely try to help out. Okay. So that's it for today. Till then, happy learning. Keep supporting and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.